Agenda 21, Sustainable Development. It is the inventory and control plan. Inventory and control of all land, all water, all minerals, all plants, all animals, all construction, all means of production, all food, all energy, all information, and all human beings in the world. And this is a plan that was agreed to by 179 nations back in 1992. It's a United Nations plan. It's called the Agenda for the 21st Century. And so many of us around the world think that oh, sustainable development, it just sounds so great. Isn't it about recycling and creative reuse and creating energy and food resources for everyone? And the answer is no, it really is not. It's about moving populations into city centers, concentrated city centers, and clearing them out of the rural areas. It's constructed of non-governmental organizations, corporations, and government in order to dictate and regulate what it is that happens around the world. Regionalization is the stepping stone to globalization, and globalization is the standardization of all systems. All systems have to be brought into harmony in order to control them all. And the goal of Agenda 21 is one world government and total control from a central unit. The principles are public-private partnerships, which is fascism. And this is how it's implemented on the ground, is through this joining together between corporations, non-governmental organizations, and governments in order to cut out the actual individual, your voter, and instead to take that to a level where we literally cannot penetrate. This is a corporatocracy. It's a totalitarian state to being developed right now all over the world while we are moving towards the end game. We are not there. And this is the opportunity that all of us have now to stand up, to speak out. We are free and we need to continue to be free. And I do believe that we will win, but we have to become aware that there is a fight. Exactly. You have to become aware there is a fight. You have to become aware that you are in a war which if you're not careful, you won't win. You have to be aware of it, like the old saying, knowing is half the battle. You have to know these things. You have to know the agendas. You have to know what it means for you. You have to know what it means for the, for the future of your children, if you have any, for your own future, for the future of the whole world, the human race, so to speak. You have to understand these things because they try to play you with the words. They try to use the words and twist it and make it look like it's something good for you while it is nothing good for you. Like she said, you know, when you hear terms like sustainable development and safe and effective and, you know, you hear these terms, of course it sounds good, you know? Of course you want something that is sustainable a development that is sustainable for the future, but that is never the case. When this, like this scripture says, when they say peace and safety, so then destruction come out upon them, right? So that is never the case with these guys. You have to know this. Don't let them trick you with these words and this, uh, their narratives and things. Knowing, always remember this, knowing is half the battle. And total control is the end game. The UN and the WEF, total control of everything. They have to have control of everything, even you. This is why they are pushing for the digital identity system, where every move you make will be tracked. There's a reason why they are boxing you, they're putting you in a corner making it so hard for you to fight back when your back is against the wall. They're burning up all the warehouses that store food. What do you think that is? That is all about that total control. You control the food, you control the people, right? They're paying farmers big money, big bank to destroy their crops, to destroy their livestock. So there will be no out for you. 
they are boxing you in. You have to be aware of this. You have to understand what is actually going on. Very soon you will wake up one morning and your whole life has been turned upside down. Everything has changed. No longer the way you used to know it. While you were lollygagging with your thumb up your ass, the wicked elites have been taking away everything that makes life worth living from you. They've been taking away your food, taking away your freedom of speech, taking away all your so-called God, you know, God-given rights, right? They've, while you were out there lollygagging, they've made sure to cripple you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? They've made sure to cripple you. You have to know these things. You have to know you're in a war. You have to understand these things because being ignorant, being willfully ignorant of it will cost you everything. The old saying, ignorance is bliss, man, think again, not, not in this time, not in this age. You have to know. You can't just ignore it because you ignoring it doesn't make it go away. It only makes it worse. You have to face it head on. Realize the real lies and face reality head on. Which brings us here. This is Ephesians, the fifth chapter and the 15th verse. It says, see then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukhah HaKodash, double on us to apostles and elders of great millstone who taught us this truth and continue to teach us this truth. Peace, salutation, shalom, shalom, shalom to all you hopeful elect Akiyam out there pushing this word and truth and in sincerity. And to you, brothers and sisters that of the household of faith, to you, I say shalom, right? I have to pull this scripture out because like he says here in Ephesians, the fifth chapter, the 15th verse, it says, see then that ye walk circumspectly. What does that mean? It means to look around you like the lady said. And the lady, she's dead now. They had to took it, they had to take it out. You know, they've unalived her because she was going in. Forgot her name, man. It's right at the tip of my tongue, but I forgot what her name is. And she's always going into this agenda twenty one and uh, sustainable development, what it really means for you and all that, right? But she's no longer here. Like she was saying, you have to be aware. And how are you aware? You have to pay attention. You know, you have to pay close attention. Look at the details. Like they always saying, the devil is in the details, right? Don't try to let them uh, woo you with all their fancy words and uh, posh and eloquent speeches, right? You have to be aware of exactly what they mean. Read between the lines. So when they say sustainable development, always understand that this is nothing good for you. Never have, never will. It's all about total control, and that total control ties into the fourth industrial revolution, where they have to merge you, a biological being, with technology, with mechanical uh, entities, if you will, mechanical products, like the RFID, like the neural link and all that. They have to uh, put you in a digital form. That's what it's all about. That is the Agenda 21, the total control of everything, the water, the food, everything, even you. Realize this and face it. Like the scripture says here, not as fools, but as wise. You have to be wise in this time, man. Because being a fool, <laughs> it will get you nowhere. But your death and the death and of everyone you love, if they're following you, you see, being a fool in this town will cost you everything. See how they're slowly and gradually trying to take away all your rights, take away your guns, right? Telling you it's okay to uh, allow immigrants, you don't know where they come from, to come and live in your homes and house them. You see what I'm saying? Using that whole, oh, it's all about love and this and that, the other. Causing your children to rebel against your authority. 
You know, if you don't allow your child to, your male son to, you know, transgender himself, they look at you all crazy. They try to take away your child from you. So all of this is happening. It's all about a total control. If you don't bend the knee to big brother, guess what? They will try to break you. You know, they will do everything possible to break you, but you have to stand your ground. You have to hold the line. You really have to. This is where the scriptures come in. This is where the, the words that are written in the Bible, the comforting words that are written in the Bible plays a huge role. Because there is a silver lining. You know, there is a, a, a victory at the end of all of this. Yeah, we'll go through hell to get to heaven. You see? It says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. The days are evil. They tell you that the bold they tell you that you will own nothing and be happy. How do you think they plan to achieve that? By taking away everything from you. In some way, somehow, they will try to make you happy. Why? Because they will uh, 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 use the technology, infuse you with technology, and put you in a fantasy world, put you in a la-la land with the neural link and the uh, RFID, right? They will beam thoughts into your mind and have you thinking it's okay, right? Just like in the movie Ready Player One. The, the real world is all jacked up, but they have this metaverse, if you will, where you think it's all okay. You know, they'll give you a fake reality, fake food. Have you thinking it's all okay. You know, put you in 15 minutes cities, concentration camps. Have you thinking it's okay. It's okay to live like that. It's okay to pack you like sardines and, and have you thinking, oh, we're doing good now. Nah. There's nothing good about the way, the plans, the agendas that the wicked elites have for you. This is why the days are evil. Recognize this and move accordingly. You know, move accordingly. The 17th verse, it says, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So what is the will of the Lord? The will of the Lord is all of this that is happening, has to happen, is all biblical prophecy. But also the will of the Lord is... There will be those that won't bow down. There will be those that will not consent. There will be those that will fight tooth and nail to keep their integrity. It's been written. Are you one of those? You know, are you one of those? Are you uh, those that will easily just break and go with Big Brother and whatever it is that's selling to you? You see? Let's get another scripture real quick. Okay, here it is. This is Psalms, this is the second chapter in the 10th verse. It says, trust not in oppression. Trust not in oppression. What is that? That is the Agenda 21, the Fourth Industrial Revolution, the Great Reset, the NWO, the uh, uh, Order Novo Seclorum, right? Anuit Coeptes. Those words written in Latin in the back of your dollar bill. This is what it is. It's nothing but an oppressive system that they've built where you pay tax or you die. They will tax you for every single thing till you die. You pay for everything. Very soon, they'll probably have you paying for air. That is very oppressive, man. You work, 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 and you have nothing to show for it. That is oppressive. Telling you it's okay to trust in the agenda, the uh, uh, sustainable development. It's okay for you to have a digital identity. It's okay for you to have a social credit score system. You see, all of this is nothing but oppressive system. And you shouldn't trust it. That's what the scripture telling you here. Trust not in oppression and become not vain and robbery. If riches increase, set your heart, set not your heart upon them, right? So a lot of people 
will fall victim because of riches, because of robbery, because of uh, the wealth of this world, right? Like it says, the love of money is the root of all evil. So a lot of people will consent to the agendas of the wicked elites. Why? Because they want to make it in this life, so to speak. Some have already made it and they want to keep it. And by so doing, they will follow any and every agenda that is thrown at them. So it tells you here, if riches increase, set not your heart upon them. So if you're getting paid, you know, you're chasing the bag and you're getting to the bag. Guess what? All that is nothing but vanity. It is nothing. And it can be used against you. Understand this. Always understand it. You see? As for the wicked elites and the agendas, they get another thing coming. Because they can only go so far. See what I'm saying? They can only go so far with the agendas. And the, and the scriptures clarifies that. This is Job, the fifth chapter, and the twelfth verse. It says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. The Anuit Coeptes, the orders, the Novus Orders Seclorum, right? The, the, the order of the new ages, right? The NWO, Agenda 2020, Agenda 2021, the fourth industrial revolution, the great reset, all of that. That is the enterprise that they're trying to establish. And it's nothing good for you because it means you'll be a perpetual slave. To make matters worse, a digital slave. You see? So that is why he says here, the fifth verse, he said, He, who is the he? The God of the Bible, whose name is Yahweh. And his only begotten son's name is Yahweh Shai. It says, He disappointed the devices of the crafty. So they are very crafty in the way they present all these agendas to you. They call it sustainable development, and right there you think it's something good. But it's nothing good. So they're very crafty. The way they try to lure you in, hook, line, and sinker into these agendas. So it says, uh, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. Because ultimately, it would all come crumbling down sooner or later. It says the 13th verse. It says, it take it the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. You see that? So ultimately the God of the Bible will thwart all their plans, all their agendas. He will crush it all up. But you have to have faith because as long as he will do that, we will be tested. Like the old saying, to whom much is given, much is tested. You will be tested. You will be tested to your very limits. Will you hold, stand firm? Would you hold the line? Right? Would you not succumb and keep your integrity intact to whatever end it might be? Because a lot of us will lose our life for what we believe. Are you ready to take that step? Even if you have to lose your life for your integrity, for what you believe, will you make that move? Even when your family is coming up against you, I will saw a little bit of an inkling of that with this whole, you know, pandemic thing. People turned in each other. You see? The whole world is coming against you. Will you stand for the truth? Will you? These are questions you have to ask yourself. We don't help bricks loose. How will I react? You see? But always remember this. Let's close out with this. Let's close out with this. Yep, this is Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, in the 6th verse. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So the wisdom and knowledge that you've acquired during this grace period that we are in, 
will be the stability of that times where everybody is on shaky ground, where everybody is uncertain of what comes next. Guess what? You will be rooted. You will be standing on a solid ground. You will be standing on a rock, which that rock is Yahweh Shai. You see? That will keep you stable mentally, physically, spiritually. You will be stable. You will not be shaken toe and fro. You see? And strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, is his treasure. So no matter what you go through, the fear of the Lord will keep you intact. Because you wouldn't want to offend the Lord. Because the Lord told you not to accept the mark of the beast. Guess what? You wouldn't do that. When it's presented to you, no matter what you're going through, if you don't know how you're going to eat, you don't know what you're going to do, feed your family and all that, the fear of the Lord you rather not of, you rather offend men than the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. So these wisdom and knowledge that you've gathered in this grace period that we're in will keep you stable. And with that, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kahakudash, double honors to apostles and elders of Great Millstone. See you next time, Lord willing. Shalom. Shalom.